What's up, guys? Today we're looking at GarageBand for iPhone. This was originally available for the iPad, uh, but now the iPhone support has been added, and that's pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and launch up GarageBand right here. So as you can see, we have some instruments to start with: drums, keyboard, blah blah blah. I can go ahead and create a beat with drums, and it's pretty awesome. I can go ahead and uh, you know make some music when I'm on the go. Uh, so it's pretty awesome. Here we go. We have drums loaded up right here. I can go ahead and uh, create a beat. It's pretty simple. Even as a, for a person who have no knowledge about music like me, uh, can make some music. It's that, that simple. So let me go ahead and make a beat. Uh, so I think that was pretty good. So there you go, as you can see, you can make some great music with it. Uh, I think the, the interface is really good with the iPhone, especially with the small 3.5 inch screen on here compared to the 10.1 inch or 9.7 inch on the iPad. Certainly is awesome uh, running the running GarageBand on a 3.5 inch screen and the interface is super easy to navigate. So if you just click on that arrow, you can go to your instruments, you know, it's pretty awesome. There you go, you got all the instruments that you need. Uh, and you can also go to the keyboard. Let me go ahead and try out something right here. So there we go, as you can see I'm making some great music right here. Uh, you can lock sustain, which is pretty awesome. And you can also go to the scroll mode, which is with which you can, you know, scroll the keyboard. And go back to your arrow, change your... You know, keyboard right here, uh, so you can go ahead and change it to Samurai Strings. Let's see how that. So there we go. As you can see, that was pretty. That's pretty awesome. And uh, you also do have Smart Guitar, which I think is really good. It's actually the same experience as playing around with GarageBand for an iPad. You know, uh, it's just so intuitive. I mean, I don't know how to explain. So you can see I'm making some great music with it. And uh, it's just amazing. So, so yeah, guys, if you already have an iPad and you purchased GarageBand already, you can download it for free for your iPhone. And yeah, that, that's GarageBand, which has been updated for iPhone. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all later.